Alright, YouTube, look gas in the carburetor, man. Break it up. Alright, here you go. Hey, man, that thing crawled right up. <laughs> Did you see that, Mr. Demon? <laughs> Check this 75 convertible Caprice. I'm sitting in the woods 28 years, y'all. Unmolested. Yeah, baby. We got a roller, baby. We got a roller. Air in the tire, just a little bit. We got both dunks in the garage now, man. Whenever we pull the car out the woods, man, we tore that up in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. There it is right there, man. Actually look pretty good. We fixed the switch mechanism. We re-greased up all the moving pieces inside. We replaced the signal switch. I got the steering column all installed back in here. We got to crank this baby up. This car had been crunk up in 28 years. I want y'all to see us try to crank up this 75 convertible Caprice that we pulled out the woods after 28 years, you two. But before we do that, I wanna ask you a question. How would you like to know how to do an LS swap in an old school car that run like this? I'm satisfied, you two, you two. Seventy-two convertible Impala LS3 swap. Looking at maybe almost six hundred horsepower. We ain't put it on the dyno yet. YouTube. We did our own wiring. And we show y'all how to do the wiring. YouTube. Step by step. We did our fuel system. We show you how to do the fuel system as well. Step by step. YouTube. Everything you need to know. LS swap, baby. Make sure you click that subscribe button make sure you turn on your notification bell let chevy's r us help you do your ls swap youtube we a family man we gonna do this thing together y'all ready let's get it youtube <laughs> back at y'all one more again youtube with another great video on chevy's r us man y'all already know what time it is we in the garage and guess what ain't nothing nobody can do about it youtube it's time to try to crank up this 75 convertible caprice classic youtube let's get it all right we recently pulled a 75 convertible Caprice out the woods. And when we pulled it out the woods, we tore the steering column up. Uh, since then, we pulled the steering column out. We replaced all defective parts. We re-greased everything up, cleaned it up, and put it back in the car. And so now we got the 75 convertible to a point where it'll turn over. And so now what I want to do today is try to fire this bad boy up, man. It hadn't run in 28 years, YouTube. So we're going to see if we can get this bad boy crunk up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you got an old car and it's been sitting for quite some time, you might have rust in the gas tank. You might have rust in your fuel lines. You might have all kind of stuff might be wrong with it. If a car had ran in a long time, you don't want to just try to put a hot battery in there and fire it up. It might have rust in the tank. What that, what that rust and all that stuff is going to get up in your engine. It's going to get through your fuel lines and it's going to make, it's going to mess your engine up. You don't need all that crud, all that filth, all that nastiness, all that gunk. You don't need all that in your engine, YouTube. 
So we're going to walk through today, man, the steps you should take whenever you try to fire up a car. You know, if it don't crank, we're going to troubleshoot it. We're going to see what's going on. So let's get to it, YouTube. First things first is I don't want to crank this car up and run this engine with that old oil. 28 years old. Probably got all kind of mess, all kind of gunk, all kind of stuff in that oil. So I think that's the first thing that we need to do is change the oil. So let's get that done. And then we're going to go from there, YouTube. All right? All right, YouTube. I'm out here, man, in the driveway. I'm in the garage, man, me and Mr. Jimmy. My neighbor, Mr. Jimmy, is with me. He out there. But I want y'all to see what this all look like, YouTube. Uh, it's been about 28 years. So we're going to see what it look like. Y'all look at you two, here it go. 28 year oil change, y'all. Here it is. Ooh, man. The oil ain't that bad, Mr. Jimmy. Yeah. It's not that bad, don't look that bad to me. Y'all see that, you two? Man, look at that oil, man. It looks bad to me. Uh, 28 years, y'all. Oil change. Gonna let that oil drain out. And uh, we'll be back with y'all in a minute, YouTube. <laughs> All right, YouTube, man. We got the oil drain out. We got the uh, oil plug back in. Yeah, there go the oil plug right there. And then also, uh, we got the oil filter back in right there. Um, if you're changing oil, make sure you fill the filter up with oil before you screw the filter back up to the block. That way your engine won't have to run that one second without no oil in it. Or, you know, you won't have that dry spot. Make your engine last longer, you too. All right, next thing next. What's next, Mr. Jimmy? Fill her up. Hey, y'all heard Mr. Jimmy, man. So, hey, we're going to take this out right here, and we're going to put some oil in them. And uh, we're going to go from there, you two. We'll be back in a minute. What you were saying about the transmission, Mr. Jimmy? Well, that I mean, everything that I have researched about it, that they tell you not to not to mess with the fluid. Top it off, keep it full, but don't try and change it. If it has not been properly maintained, that is absolutely what I recommend, man, because... Well, I don't know what happened to the kill before I got it, but since I've had it, it's been properly maintained. Okay, so the fluid been changed when it's time, on time and all that? Yep. I would probably keep changing it then, but, you know... That's a hard call right there, man, you know? Well, I had I had Paul Gann change it when I first got the Kia. Mm -hmm. And I've had it, I got it in 2016. All right, check it out, man. All right, check it out, check it out, YouTube. Hey, man, y'all see the fuel pump right down there, man? Y'all see that fuel pump right there? And y'all see that hose right here? Um, this is the hose that's connecting the fuel pump to the hard line that's running back to the tank. Uh, if you got an old car and it hadn't ran in a long time, uh, you want to make sure, you know, you bypass this, man. That way you won't be feeding in all that dirt and rust and grime and grit from the tank because we haven't cleaned the tank out yet. So for today's purposes of attempting to crank this engine, we're just gonna unplug it here, plug another hose up and run it into a gas tank at the bottom. So once I get this off and get the hose connected, I'm gonna show y'all what I did, YouTube. All right, be back in a minute. All right, YouTube, let me show y'all what I got. Uh, 
Now y'all see that hose going up to the fuel pump right there? That's a plastic hose that just come right down here and go right into a gas tank. And so literally what we just did is bypass the fuel tank only because we haven't cleaned the tank out and blown the lines out to get all the rust and dirt and stuff out of the system. Uh, this is just for today's purpose. We want to see if this thing going to fire up. So once we know and hear it fire up, then we'll take the next steps to drop the tank, clean the tank out, and blow the lines out, YouTube. So let's see if it'll crank, YouTube. Be back in a minute. All right, YouTube, man, we're going to put a little gas in here. I know y'all see that. I put that tape on there to prevent anything from getting down in there. But I'm just going to take this tape on off. Oh, wow. That, that carburetor looks really clean. You see how clean that looks? You see how clean that look? Man, that look clean, bro. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this off. Well, the bottom part don't look clean, but the inside of the carburetor, it look clean. So we're going to see if this thing will crank you too. Y'all ready for it? All right, YouTube, little gas in the carburetor, man. Crank it up. Let's see what it won't do, y'all. Put just a little bit of gas in the carburetor. A little bit. All right, YouTube, YouTube. Y'all ready for it? Let's see what it won't do. Be going. I'm gonna do this about maybe two or three more times, and if it don't run on its own, then that means it ain't picking the gas up. Well, you gonna have to hit the gas. You gonna have to hit the accelerator to have to pick it up. Well, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I'll try that. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. That'll make it pick it up. It'll open the diaphragm on the on the fuel pump up. Let's try that. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna adjust that uh, thing at the bottom. That's a cork right up, boy. Golly! I don't think it's working though. That that it's running from the gas I poured in the uh, bowl. I don't know. As long as you kept revving it, I can't see. Kept running. <laughs> See it, bro. 
Now that we know that the 75 convertible Caprice Classic behind me uh, runs and the engine cranks up and runs, our next step is to clean out the gas tank and to blow the lines out with compressed air. And what that's going to do is that's going to clean all the rust and get all the grud, the dirt, the water, everything, get all of that out of the gas tank. And also, it's going to clean the lines out so all that stuff ain't getting up in your engine. So we're going to do that next. If it doesn't run absolutely smooth, we're going to probably end up rebuilding the carburetor as well. And it's got an original two-barrel carburetor on the car. Uh, I know probably some people saying, put your four-barrel on there. I mean, it's, the car is in all original state. So at this moment, we're going to leave it all original until we start our LS swap. So y'all can look forward to that, man. Look forward to those videos coming up. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Do that for me right now, YouTube. And also... Turn on your notification bell. That way you'll see all of our videos when we post them. And I need for y'all to drop me a comment and say, look, I'm riding with Chevy's R Us, Tone. You too, you too.